Hey again guys and welcome back. Today I want to show you how easy it is to program these ESP8266 modules. This one here is in a form factor with a USB to serial already included and this is known as the Wemos D1 Mini or the Lolin D1 Mini. If you're the type of person that only watches the first 30 seconds of my video and I saw the analytics, I know who you are, then all the written instructions and all the links you need are in the description below. And for the rest of you, well, I'll see you at the computer. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is download the Arduino IDE. I know a lot of people are going to say there are better IDEs out there, but uh, I like it. It's simple. It works. So download it, uh, depending on your system, and install it. Next thing you're going to want to do is the D1 Mini has a CH340 uh, USB to serial chip on it and as does this Chinese clone that I have and I'm making this video with. So the second link in the description will bring you to this page where you can find the CH340 driver. Now if you already have uh, Chinese Arduino clones a lot of them do have the CH340 so you already have this installed. If not just download it extract it and install it. Really simple. I did it on two Windows 10 machines now so no worries with that. And the next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go to this ESP8266 uh, GitHub which is linked in the description and if you don't know how GitHub works don't worry um, I really don't know how it works either. All you have to do is scroll down and you're gonna see that uh, you've got this here which you can copy and then you go into your Arduino and you go uh, File Preferences and if you already have an additional board then just add it to the end here by putting a comma space and then paste this in and hit OK. Then you go up to Tools uh, then you go Board, Board Manager you let it load up all the extra stuff and then you type in ESP 8266 and there it is ESP8266 community install this give it a few seconds to download and install and then close out of there then you can already go up here to tools hit your board and now you should see look at that we've got a ton of extra boards and here is our uh, Lolin or Wemos D1 Mini so I'm gonna click this and now you'll see we have all this extra stuff which should already be populated to the correct settings for the device and then we can even go here file um, examples and we should be able to find ESP8266 and Blink. So that gives us the Blink sketch for the ESP8266. I have my ESP8266 plugged in. I will hit the port. I believe it's COM3 where I have it. And I'm going to upload this and you'll see it takes a long time because even though this uh, software is fairly simple it still has to compile a whole bunch of stuff on the back end to make it work with the ESP8266. This is an Arduino IDE. So here we go. It's writing and resetting. And I found that at this point it just stays like this. So I just disconnect it and we're good to go. Let's head back to the bench and see if all of this worked. Back at the workbench now, uh, these D1 Minis ship without a program on them, I'm fairly sure of that, at least this one didn't. So I'm going to plug this in and we're going to see if the little built-in LED is going to flash and if it does, I think we have a successful program. So here we go. And there we go. So we have Blink working which means now we can just load up a whole bunch of examples and start playing with this thing immediately. So you see, really, you could be from unpackaging to blinking an LED in under five minutes. 
and I hope you do. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to be using your D1 Mini for, or if you're even interested in ESPs at all. Thanks again for watching.